This video is scripted and edited and written by Nehor Dash. This video is scripted and edited and written by Nehor Dash. 15 of the best Asian persimmon variety is which written by Nehor Dash for public domain purpose only when I say persimmon. What do you think of? Perhaps you once bit into an underripe fruit and it conjures up a memory of that tingly, cottony feeling you get on your tongue when you've eaten something full of tannins. Or maybe you think of the wild trees growing across the southeastern United States, and the wildlife that lines up to nibble the fruits as they fall to the ground. So CHEK out our list, which created by Nehor Dash for public domain papayas only. One chocolate, one chocolate, one chocolate. A chocolate gets its name because on the outside, it looks like your average persimmon, with bright orange flesh. But when you take a bite, the flesh is brown like chocolate jelly, as if a magician had transformed it into a cocoa-based confection. A close-up horizontal image of Diospiro's khaki chocolate sliced in half and placed on a wooden surface with a knife in soft focus in the background chocolateasedly. It doesn't taste like chocolate. But this fruit of the gods is almost as good. It's sweet with a bit of nutty spice, and incredibly juicy. Even before you take your first bite, it's clear that this variety is special. The medium-sized fruit has bright red skin that looks stunning in a bowl on your table. Even better, the fruit is seedless. This pollination variant astringent type is one of the last varieties to ripen, ready for harvest in late October through mid-November. 2 Eureka 2 Eureka 2 Eureka Eureka We've struck gold with this persimmon. At least, that's what I imagine the breeder shouted after tasting the fruit of this particular varietyo Eureka. Is a pollination constant astringent cultivar that is popular across the US and Asia the fruits are medium in size and are ready to pluck from late October through early November. The skin is a pleasing red color. But the top reason why this type is one of the more common varieties is because of the texture that holds well even as it sits on the shelf. Many Asian persimmons are seedless, but this particular variety has seeds. 3-Fuu 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 Yu is one of the most widely grown non-astringent cultivars in the world, and there's a good reason for that. This tree has a lot going for it. The fruit doesn't have a core or seeds, and the pumpkin orange skin matches the interior. The squat fruit is topped with a tiny green cap that isn't as large as some other varieties, which makes it just about picture perfect for a fall display. A close-up square image of the bright orange fruit Diospiro's khaki fuu on a blue sky background US. It's non-astringent, so you can bite into the medium to large fruit straight off the tree, even when they are still firm. They have a luscious texture that varies from crisp and apple-like when it's young and softens as it ages. The flavor is more sweet and rich, with a hint of clove, as it further ripens. One of the great things about this type is that the fruits rarely have imperfections, so if you're selling these at the farmer's market, you're likely to get a high rate of sellable fruits. For Giombo for Giombo for Giombo another pollination variant astringent variety, Giombo produces massive fruits with a slightly conical shape. Unlike some others, this type bears fruit every other year when it's young. After it matures, it bears fruit annually. When it's ripe, the skin is a pretty, almost translucent orange, wrapped around jelly-like flesh. What sets it apart, though, is its flavor. It has a spicy yet sweet taste that only improves the more ripe it gets Giombo. Is ready for harvest from mid-September to mid-October watch out, though. It can leaf out early, making it susceptible to late frosts. If you do have a late frost, Cover the tree with a tarp or blanket to protect it. Remove the covering when temperatures are above 34 degrees Fahrenheit. 5 Great Wall 5 Great Wall 5 Great Wall This pollination constant cultivar got its name when plant geographer J. Russell Smith spotted one growing near the Great Wall of China in the 1920s and brought it back to the U.S. Since then, some growers have grafted it onto American persimmon rootstock to make it more tolerant of colder temps. An astringent type that stays within a compact 20 feet tall, 
The flesh of great wall turns a cinnamon orange shade when the fruit is ripe. The skin is medium orange. This one ripens in late September through late October. 6 Hatcha 6 Hatcha 6 Hatcha Hatcha produces pretty fruit, with an acorn-like shape wrapped in a bright orange skin. It's one of the most popular types and is widely grown in California inside. The flesh can be incredibly astringent, so you need to let this one ripen significantly before you'll get a good flavor out of it. Given time, the overripe fruit is even sweeter than non-astringent types like Fuwa. Close-up square image of the bright orange fruit of Diospyros khaki hatchua growing in the garden pictured on a soft focus background Dashiaea. Pollination constant type. You can start plucking ripe fruits off the tree in mid-November and the harvest may continue through mid-December. Pick up a tree for your garden at Nature Hills Nursery. 7 is R7 is R7 is R. This is another popular type, perhaps because it's one of the earliest to ripen. Once it's mature, you can expect to be plucking fruits off the tree by mid-September, and harvests may last through mid-November. The fruits are medium to large in size. A pollination constant non-astringent variety, Iza has a compact growth habit and the fruit is very sweet. Young trees are a bit slow to start growing, but once established, they are reliable performers. 80808Juroro is another popular type, but the drawback here is that when the tree is young, yields are unpredictable and erratic. A close-up horizontal image of the ripe fruits of Diospyrus khaki Jiro pictured on a white background irons. The tree matures, harvests are more consistent. The fruit is medium to large, ready to harvest from mid-October through mid-November. Watch out for tip cracking. This cultivar is prone to splitting at the end if it experiences strong, lashing wind or extreme heat. You can't prevent it, so if you see fruits cracking, Pluck and use them right away if they are ripe enough. Euro is a pollination constant non-astringent variety. It's more cold hardy than most Asian persimmons and can handle temperatures down to 0 degrees Fahrenheit. 9 Meikawa Jiro 9 Meikawa Jiro 9 Meikawa Jiro You might have guessed from the name, but Meikawa Jiro is a bud sport of Jiro. While the tree isn't very vigorous, the fruit is large. However, these fruits are prone to tip cracking, as well. Harvesting time is from late October through late November non-astringent and pollination constant. Meikawa Jiro lacks the spicy notes of other persimmons, with a flavor like sugar cane. The trees stay compact at under 15 feet tall, which makes harvesting a breeze. Like its parent Jiro, the tree can grow in temperatures down to 0 degrees Fahrenheit. 10 Midia 10 Midia 10 Midia While Midia fruit are extremely large for a non-astringent pollination constant variety, up to 12 ounces each at maturity, 75 pence, the trees aren't particularly vigorous. On top of that, you may need to thin the fruits to achieve a good harvest, a practice that isn't required for most Asian types besides few you don't. Let that scare you off. The incredibly flavorful fruits have beautiful orange skin and an indented ring that makes them stand out. You can expect to harvest fruits from late October to late November. 11 Saijo 11 Saijo 11 Saijo If you love the taste of honey, Saijo is the persimmon for you. The flesh is intensely sweet and juicy, and seedless or nearly so. The flesh of this astringent pollination constant variety is medium orange and the fruit has a conical shape. A close-up square image of Diospyrus khaki saijo growing in the garden with bright orange fruits pictured on a soft focus background saijo like Tain Nashi, below, this is a good choice if you want to dry your persimmon. Otherwise, wait until it gets soft, like a ripe tomato, before digging in. You should be able to start gorging yourself. Am I the only one who does this during persimmon season? In mid-September through mid-October. 12 Sheng 12 Sheng 12 Sheng This cultivar has distinctly gelatinous, medium to large fruit that's ready to pluck from mid-September to mid-October. I think the fruits are particularly cute because they're quite squat, sort of like tomatoes that someone, gently, sat on. When ripe. 
This pollination constant astringent type is incredibly sweet, with a nutty flavor that sets it apart. 13 Saruga 13 Saruga 13 Sarugas or Ruga produces incredibly sweet medium to large fruits. The pollination constant non-astringent fruits are incredibly sweet and spicy, and they hold their flavor off the tree for a long time. This type is typically ready to harvest from October through November. 14 Tain Nashi 14 Tain Nashi 14 Tain Nasa Tain Nashi is a pollination constant astringent cultivar with light orange to red skin and yellow orange flesh. This cone shaped fruit is a popular variety for drying in Japan fresh and fully ripe. It has a sweet and rich flavor, and the fruit typically ripens from September to October. 15 Triumph 15 Triumph 15 Triumph You can hardly blame plant growers for choosing a name like Triumph when they create a cultivar that really stands out. This cultivar is notable because it doesn't need a period of chill hours below 45 degrees Fahrenheit to bloom, unlike some persimmons. A pollination constant astringent variety, Triumph produces small, squarish fruit, which is extremely juicy with few or no seeds. It also has a lengthy harvest time, from September through November it has firm skin, unlike some other varieties, even when it is ripe. That makes storing and handling easier. This variety is commonly grown in Israel, where it is often called Sharon fruit. 